Okay, so this video is going to guide you through completing your assignment for today. Hopefully you'll just be able to zip right through it without the video, but in case you need the video, I'm making it available to you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a split screen, and I'm going to show you just in case you're not sure. So you're going to go to the top right corner, and you see you scroll over this, we're going to click Restore Down, we're going to make it a smaller window. And I have my Excel document already opened. I'm going to restore this one down so it's smaller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm right-handed, so I just put everything I'm just looking at on the right. So in order to do a split screen, and let's hope it works with me, I'm just going to pick it up and swipe it down on the right. Now I'm not swiping straight across. I'm going to swipe down and to the left on this one. Okay, so I have a blank spreadsheet. The first thing I'm going to do, and these are in the directions as well, is in cell C2. Well, I'm sorry. In cell A1, I'm going to key in the word values. And in cell C1, I'm going to type in the word if statements. I'm going to make all of them bold. So I'm going to select A1. I'm going to press the control key and C1. And then I'm going to click bold. Now, if you look up here, you can see A1 and B1 have been merged. So I'm going to select cell A1 by left click, hold it, and drag it over to B1. And then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to click Merge and Center. So it merged those two cells together. Okay, so I need to put a bottom border. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's make column C big enough. So I'm going to go right up here between C and D and double click. And my column is automatically big enough. Now I'm going to select these two cells. I want to add a bottom border. So I'm going to click right here and it will add a bottom border. Now I also want to add a top border from B1 down to B27. I'm sorry, a dividing line. So I selected those and I'm not going to click this because this will put bottom border. I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow and I'm going to choose right border. So there's my border. Okay, so in cells A2, I'm going to type the word feline. And it's very important that you type everything exactly as it is. An amphibian. Then I'm going to go down to five and type in carrot, followed by rock. And in A8 will be explorer. And Taurus. Then in A11 will be Delhi. That one is pharmacy. And A14 is the number five. Oops. The number zero. Then I go to A17 and I'm going to type on a one. Then a two. And then a zero and a one. Three zero. Okay. Then down in cell A26, I'm going to type children. Get an arrow, of, excuse me, arrow right, and I'll put in two. I'm going to type in adult right up under it, and tab, and I get to two. Okay, so in cell C2, remember the if statements from yesterday? I have them up over here, just so I can see it. Now, here's a word of caution. You cannot copy from your Word document and paste over here. Um, let me show you why. I'll just type one in and I'll show you why. So you see how this is typed in? I'm going to copy it by pressing Control C. I'm going to come over here and paste it by pressing Control V. When I do that, you see it comes up with an error. And it does that because if you look, these quotation marks are all facing the wrong directions. So if you do that, then you have to go in and do the quotation marks from Excel. Excel does not differentiate. All quotation marks are the same, and they're straight up and down. It does not curve in towards a word. Okay, so see, then it is telling me cat. Okay, so I can drag it and drop it. However, there's some, yeah, I can. So then I can just go right here to the fill handle and drag it down. So you have to manually type in the formula for each one of these. So over here, I'm going to go back and put this back up again. 
Okay, so then this is equals F. And there's a couple ways you can do it. You can click on A5 equals caret you can put vegetable otherwise put mineral okay and then you're gonna go back click on it go to the fill handle and drag it down okay so I'm gonna show you a different way okay so a different way is to click this FX we're going to type in the word if because we're looking for the if function. Click go. It's going to come up here and I'm going to double click it. Okay, so the logical test is um, for this one is if A11. You don't have to write the equals or if. This for it will do it for you. If A8 and right here equals deli. So if it's true, see the difference? If I don't have the quotation marks, it's not very happy with me. So if it's true, you want it to do, oh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself. If A8 <laughs> equals Explorer. And it's true because it's telling me it's Explorer. You want it to put SUV. Otherwise, you want it to put Sedan. And click OK. See? How marvelous. OK, so you can choose how you would like to do these. Um, I'm going to continue to just work through these functions, work through these if statements. I just like typing them because it solidifies you know for me equals deli okay so this one if a11 equals deli remember you're gonna put a11 so literally you just have to click on a11 otherwise put zero pretty cool right so for this one because it is a cell reference you have to add the absolute reference if you're going to fill it otherwise it's gonna change your cell reference Okay, so these are equals if A14 is greater than 0, do A14 times 8, otherwise 0. And remember, if you're going to be dragging these, because this part is this part right here, this is part of your conditions of what you want to do if it's true. I'm sorry, you don't want to do A14. You want this to roll. Okay, so you see the answer. You see how it does it, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you in just a moment. Let me get these last couple of them in. Equals 1. Ah, I have an error. Okay, so let's find out. What is my error? Aha, look, I didn't have my if in there. So I'm going to click X equals if. Now I'm good. Okay, so I'm moving on. Equals if A20 equals 0. You want it to be off. otherwise on okay so then now I'm down to here equals if a23 is greater than 0 I want it to do oh I don't want a range greater than 0 my goodness, 823 times 15, otherwise 0. OK, 
Okay, last one equals if A26 equals adult, then I want it to do B26. B26, and you see all I have to do is click on it, times 8.5, otherwise B26 times 5. Okay, so in order to save this document, I don't want you to, um, I want you to, sh to save it and submit it with the formulas showing. So to do that, you're going to press control on your keyboard and the little squiggly key, it is just under escape. And then you see it changes everything to the functions. Then you're going to double click between cells C, I'm sorry, columns C and D. You're going to see everything here. You're going to go to file, save as, and you're going to save it as a... PDF so that we can see those answers. So then when it saves, you know it's going to save, it's going to do its little thing. So then when it saves, you'll be able to see it. It's just taking its sweet time, so sorry. So when you save it, it should look just like this and it will give you the answers okay that's the first attachment you're gonna have the second attachment you're going to attach as the Excel document so you'll you're gonna end up saving this document twice you are going to upload one as a PDF and one as an Excel document so I can see that you've done the formulas in Excel um, as a PDF and then the second one you're going to press control and squiggly put it back on this and then save it as an Excel document so I can see that it actually calculated it all and you have all the correct answers so if you have any questions give me a shout it's a very easy assignment it might take you a little bit of time to work through it if you have an error the first thing you need to do is look at your formula Make sure your formula is correct and that you're using the Excel quotation marks. This is very, very important. If you don't use these and you try to copy and paste, you will get an error message and it will not do the formula correct for you. So if you have any questions, I'm here to help you. I hope you have an amazing day.